Hello folks, Shoestring here. I did a review of this cheap charge controller about a month ago, just to show the basic function. And today I'm giving you an update on how it actually works in real life. I have it charging a 200 amp hour lithium battery, which is connected, by the way, to a 2000 watt VaultWorks pure sine wave inverter. It's on a mobile cart. As I've showed you in some other videos, I like these mobile carts. I, they're a lot less expensive than a solar generator you can buy. And you can regulate it and control it yourself. It's on wheels, why it's mobile. So this is a 200 amp hour lithium battery. It is really simple. It is a stripped down model, relatively inexpensive compared to what normal lithiums cost. It doesn't have a low temperature cutoff. It doesn't have a voltage meter. It has, by the way, a, a, a battery management system. And that is about it. It doesn't have a voltage monitor. It doesn't have any way for you to monitor it from your phone. It didn't come with its own charger. It is just a basic, most inexpensive 200 amp hour battery I could find. Now, it does hold a charge and it does run the 200 amp hour. I've tested it, but that's about all it does because shoestring works on a shoestring. Anyway, this is the battery that I'm charging with this little cheap charge controller. I wanted to give you folks a chance to look at it, see what it says, and a basic setup of how it's charged. So there's the battery. As you can see, the two connections, alligator clips, positive and negative. They go up over the top to my charge controller, which is working really, really well. This one has a pure sine wave because when the power goes out, which happens frequently, this goes in the kitchen. Ms. Shoestring gets it. And she uses it to run the refrigerator. And she uses it to run the microwave. And whatever else in the kitchen she wants to use till the power comes back on. Such as can electric can openers. Whatever she wants. Whatever she, Mrs. Shoestring wants, she gets. So, that's why this is a pure sine wave. I've said in other videos, modified sine waves are great for about everything except sensitive medical equipment and sometimes some appliances. Check your manuals, please. Okay, so here's the charge controller. As you can see, it is working right now. There is, a, you can see at first, the symbol of the solar panel. Little arrow showing it's going to the battery, and it is charging it. Okay, and it's been doing this for some time. Every time we use it, I bring it in here and hook it back up. So what connections do I have? What, are, what does it look like? Let's take a look here at what the settings are. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, 13.2 shows what the charge is, and it is charging. 14.6 means that's as high of a charge as the charge controller will put on this. Why did I pick 14.6? Excellent question. We'll come over here to the manual for the battery. Oh, and I just happened to save a place right here. Okay. Battery, right here. Lithium, 14.6. So, 14.6 is what I set up the charge controller to do. On my last video, I showed you how to change those settings. Okay, so, just go back. 14.6. These I don't really care much about, even though I explained them last one, last video. Here's what's important. B02. The charge controller says B02 means lithium. So that's how I have it set up for lithium. Please read your manuals and follow their directions. So we have this little charge controller running. It's been doing a great job so far. Now, I don't trust it 100% at the moment, so I still come in and check it. And when it's fully charged, I will unplug it. 
because if you just leave it plugged up at night and there is no sun getting on your panels, then it's simply going to drain your battery as the charge controller continues to give you the readout. So I simply unplug it and let it go at night and then plug it back in when I need it. So there it is. Charge controller. Showed you how it was hooked to the battery. It also, let me show you this. I have it hooked up where it comes right over here. This is, goes to the solar panels. Goes through the window because I leave it in the house. Right outside to where I keep a lot of my solar panels. Right now it's just hooked up to a 45 uh, watt solar panel I got from Harbor Freight several years ago. But when I need to charge it up faster and make it more efficient, I will put in 100, 100 watt panels, whatever I need to do to make this efficient. Okay, so if you have any questions, please ask. Put in down the comments. Tell me about your experiences with this little charge controller. And so far, for the price, I think this was about $15. It is running and, and doing an excellent job. So if you like these kinds of videos, please subscribe and like. And put something down in the comments. I get a lot of suggestions on videos to make. Things people want to know by the comments below. Shoestring out.